Need ORU Nanomaterials in the Environment, Agriculture and Technology expanded to be Nano and New Materials in the Environment, Energy, Agriculture and Technology is a consortium of faculty on the UC Davis campus who are interested in the fundamental and applied properties of nanomaterials in fields ranging from physics to biology. The mission of NEAT ORU is to bring faculty, students, and postdocs together in research on nanomaterials in both a fundamental and applied sense. We're excited about many projects using calorimetry. Three that are currently underway is the study of different forms of carbon, graphene, nanodiamond, carbon onions, all of which are technologically important and all of which we find are actually stabilized by organic molecules on their surfaces. We're also working on materials relevant to battery applications and finding that the surface absorption of water and the surface energies are extremely important in determining their function. And finally, I should mention carbon materials relevant to the interior of planets and the global geochemical cycles of carbon. What we see in 10, 20 years is the ability to tailor materials to have the desired properties, both in terms of function and in terms of stability, and the thermodynamics relates to both. I work with nanocrystalline ceramics, uh, thermochemistry of nanoceramics, basically. And what we're looking into that is trying to get energetic information of the nanomaterial to actually study not only the processing conditions and how to actually get nanocrystalline materials in, a, in an economical way, but also looking into how these nanomaterial will behave under extreme environments, such as high temperatures or radiation conditions in a nuclear reactor. Looking at the practical applications of the project, and you see that you actually look into where bulk materials and nanomaterials behave differently, where nanomaterials can actually thrive as a new class of materials. So we're looking into nuclear reactors to resist more radiation damage. We're looking into space shuttles to resist high temperatures, jerk turbines, and things like this. Here at the NEAT ORU, I do experiments using small nanometer size aqueous clusters as models for the surfaces of minerals. I'm a geochemist. I have appointments both in chemistry and geology, and I use these small clusters to try and understand the reactions that take place uh, in aqueous solutions and natural waters. I run experiments at very high pressures, pressures equal to the bottom of the Earth's crust. In one project, we try to make uh, new materials for the semiconductor industry. Uh, in another project, we look at the stability of these clusters at very high pressures. And I also have a project to look at the stability of large clusters made of transuranic elements. These are radioactive elements uh, that are part of our radioactive waste repository. They spontaneously form large clusters, and we're interested in how to control these. The practical application of these clusters or these particles are profound. The, the fact that we can control them atom by atom uh, means that we can control the way they interact with light, the way they move through solution, the way they interact with cells. You're going to see these particles or these clusters used in semiconductor devices. You're going to see them used in consumer products. You're going to see them used in medicine to target cancer cells, to, to deliver chemicals that will benefit your health. At NEAT WARU, my research focuses on structural and dynamical aspects of quite a wide range of amorphous materials at length scales ranging from one to two nanometer all the way to a few hundreds of nanometers uh, because these are key to understand nanostructure property relationship and our goal is to build predictive models for such relationships with their future applications in mind. Right now we are working on uh, two very different classes of amorphous materials uh, such as polymer-derived amorphous ceramics and fast ion conducting calcogenide glasses uh, where we are looking at the role of uh, how to control uh, the formation of structural and chemical nano domains in these materials which eventually will control their application in the areas of environmental remote sensing and energy storage in the form of batteries and other devices. 
In terms of future applications, energy and environment are on our mind for these materials and amorphous materials are, that we are currently working on are geared towards uh, building materials for energy storage such as battery materials for environmental sensing and for switching applications. My team really focuses on making novel nanobiomaterials and use that to study and regulate cellular function. At present, within the uh, NEED ORU team, uh, we work with University of California Davis's Medical Center, uh, MD and PhD teams there, in targeting immuno or immunology related problems. So we make nanomaterials containing the ligand and we position them in space with nanometer precision. And by using that, we can direct how the immuno cells behave. And those behavior include activation, such as allergy, and anti-cancer therapy. In the next 10 to 20 years, those nano biomaterials will provide new materials for wound healing, new platform for tissue engineering, and new drug for anti-cancer therapy. The future of NEET ORU is to expand into new exciting areas. Material science is really changing in terms of tremendous new materials and new opportunities to link material science, physics, and biology. So we expect to become even broader in our impact and in the sort of things we study.